Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and activate those notifications by clicking on that bell icon below. Happy New Year, by the way. I hope 2022 brings you everything you desire and much more. So we're doing another drawing tutorial and Spain has a lot of great artists, Dali, Picasso. Goya is also one of Spain's best artists. Francisco de Goya was born on the 30th of March, 1746. He died on April 16th, 1823. He was a painter and a printmaker, and like I said, one of Spain's most important painters. I've actually gotten to see some of his work when I went to Spain. I used to go to Spain a lot when I was a teacher during the summers. The Museo del Prado, which if you're ever in Madrid, you need to stop by. They have a big collection of his works. So three of my all-time favorite works by Goya that are located in that museum are Charles IV of Spain and his family. That one was painted between 1800 and 1801. I love how intricately painted this is painted. <laughs> Sorry for the redundancy. Like when you see it in person you can see the details of the clothing of the clothing and it's just so impeccably done. It's it's just gorgeous. I love 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 how detailed this painting is. The 3rd of May 1808. This one was painted in 1814. You know, it just shows the horrors of war. It's also very impactful to see in person because you're just magnetized by the expressions in the painting, especially the guy in the middle. And today we're doing self-portrait. Self-portrait self at an easel or self-portrait in the studio. This one was painted 1790 and 1795. I haven't seen this one in person, but it's not something that I would particularly want to paint. I'm not drawn to this composition, and it's not my style because I'm not a realist painter or drawer or all of the above. But Laura Ernest suggested if I could do a video about this painting, and I said, you know what? I like to be challenged. This is not my forte, but Let's see if I can do it, and if I can't do it, I apologize in advance. I mean, I'm thinking it shouldn't be that hard because there's so much negative space. I'm just concerned about the face and getting the proportions right, and the hands. Hands are very difficult to do. But, I mean, if I can't and can do it, I'll just abstract it, or, I don't know, make it my own, or... <laughs> We'll figure it out. So, I've already done a sketcher. Like I said, this is not my style or my forte, so I don't want to completely mess it up. So I've already done some light sketching. I'm gonna more or less show you how I approached this while I was sketching it. I feel like I should put this here. So I'm gonna start with the eyes in the top part of the paper. And it's not center, it's just a little bit off center. So I'm gonna start with two small smiley faces. And then a sad face on this one and just a straight line on that one. And then you curve. Actually, this one's slanted too. And then you curve for the eyeball. And then this connects, you bring it down for the nose. So it's very small lines. And then the eyes like really black. It's a three quarters pro three quarters view, so like that's the nose, the nostril. <laughs> that's a horrible nose. I feel like I need to hold it. And then his, his the top of the mouth is almost like an M or a little mountain range. And then the bottom of the lip, like a smiley face. He has a light mustache, which I'm not going to put in yet. I'm just going to outline his head. The chin, the cheek. <laughs> ah, I'm so nervous, my armpits are sweating. Okay, then the bottom of his hat. It's not parallel, it's a little bit shifted up. I do like this guy's hat, it's pretty dapper. Go up, and then you're gonna connect. And then you go up, and then you connect. And then the hat, there's like this belt on top with the buckle just rectangular in shape. I want like a crimp 
pilgrim belt. And then the top part of his coat, I must say this is a very cute coat, I would wear it. And then he has you know, curly hair, a little bit sticking out over here too. He looks mad. The bottom part of the collar, then connect this. I think it's not as big in this one, but oh well. Feel free to take artistic liberties. Let's bring this down. This is the edge of the coat. Then his back. Here's the top of his shoulder, his arm. The back of the jacket. And then the bottom of the coat. So if you mess up, you can do what I'm doing where I'm just adding extra lines. Because once I'm done, I'm going to do cross hatching so it doesn't look completely disgusting. And cross hatching is when you just cross the lines. And then he's holding a palette, which is oval in shape. And here his thumb is sticking through it. So that's his thumb and his nail. So on this palette, there's actually um, different types of paint, but I'm going to put those in. Like I'm actually going to paint like little blobs of paint, so I'm not going to do anything right now. And then he's wearing this billowy type of shirt with ruffles. And then he has like this vest that has squiggly black lines. Here's his other arm. Oh, I guess I forgot to draw the bottom of this arm. And his hand is like peeking at the bottom. His cuff. And his other hand is right here. His finger pointing. Well, he's actually holding a... What is that what you paint with? A paintbrush. His thumb. and the paintbrush. Actually, like, there's not even a lot of detail here. I, in my mind, I feel like it's very heavily layered with paint, and the brush strokes just give the illusion, like, of a brush. His leg, he's wearing some tights, some Lululemon leggings, his knee, back of his other leg. So his cuff, you go in and out for his cuff. And he's wearing these little weird shoes. If I'm going too fast, you can just slow it down. They're like little ballerina flats. I guess that's a bottom. That's an ugly shoe. I don't know if you're I mean, I would probably crop it here, that way I wouldn't have to worry about all of this. But it kind of just depends on your composition. Um, here's the other leg. Oops, I ran out of face, so I can't out of the shoe. Bummer. I feel like this line doesn't go there. Oh, but there's a table here. So that will just be a leg to the table. legs. I guess this is the other leg. It's really dark. And then there's some stuff on the table. I'm not going to put anything on it, but you can put whatever you want on top of it and make it your own. And then here's a giant canvas that he's painting his self-portrait on. This is the edge of it, and then it goes back. This, this is behind it. This is the legs to the easel. It's really dark. I mean, you can't really see the detail unless I'm missing something. But I feel like this easel needs another leg. And there's a window back here. 
brings in a lot of light. I kind of like this window. And, um, one, two, three. There's three. Three panes to the window. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. They're not the same size though. And yeah, here's the baseboard, the wall, the floor. That actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. But, I mean, it doesn't look very good. So what we can do to make this a little bit, you know, cooler, not so elementary, like I said, bring in this, these crosshatch lines, like where you want your shadow created. There's definitely going to be a shadow here. I think he needs a lift here. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I just made it worse. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in some watercolor. And then I'm going to make these very thick with paint. Give him some curls. All right, so let me add some some black watercolor. No, it's not black. Brown watercolor to this, and then I'll come back so you can see what it look like. So I started to add some color. Added some brown, tan, red, but it still looks like a mess. I think I'm gonna have to accept defeat on this one. But I'm going to keep trying to spice it up to make it a little bit better. I think I'm going to come in with some black now. Because the, I mean, the original is very dark. See what happens. <laughs> well, I guess I should apologize. Because this is... I mean, I think bad is putting it lightly. You know, but not everything you do is going to come out good. You're not always going to win at life. Sometimes you're going to sit, have setbacks. Sometimes you're going to go through things in life that aren't picturesque. No, you have your dark moments and <laughs> hopefully yours came out better than mine. This is really, <laughs> it was an exercise. You know, it was, you learn from everything. And I know that I'm better at other things, but if I have to rescue something that I do like about this, I like the palette and I do kind of like the jacket, like the edge of it and stuff. What do you think? <laughs> well, hopefully yours came out way better than this. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this drawing tutorial. Give me your thoughts on the comments. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And watch all the other content in my channel. Goya, he's probably tossing and turning his grave. Appalled at my poor attempt to recreate this painting. I mean, what... <laughs> goodness hey well at least i'll try anyway that's all for today's video uh, until next time adios y bye